I say I wouldn't say I was opposed to women. What I would say is that I am one of a very small handful of people that has a visible disability that works in TV. It started off being around disability issues, and that was through the Paralympics and other stories that were very disability focused. But now I have the absolute pleasure and privilege of actually presenting on issues that have nothing to do with my disability. So I think what's happened is there's been a wonderful door opened into bringing people in with people, people like me with visible disabilities. Um, and what's been really exciting is to see once that door's opened where I've been able to go with it. And I feel a very strong and very serious responsibility about speaking and representing um, for my community. So I, I feel it, the responsibility is, is one I probably put on myself. But I do feel that it's such a, it's such a privilege to be on TV, to be able to show my disability and, and normalise it. So it's, it's just it's an absolute joy and I, I just long may it continue. <laughs>So since my injury, which was when I was 18, I had a car crash which left me in a wheelchair, I felt very, very strongly about improving representation, whether that be in media and TV or be in fashion and retail. And I, back in early days, I years ago created a prop, a mannequin wheelchair that I wanted to put into shop windows to just give that symbol to a disabled customer that they were welcome, that they were, you know, that they were being considered. That's now fast forward and now I work more holistically with retailers looking at how all the different pieces of the puzzle can come together to make sure that the experience for disabled customers is a good one. And there's a lot of talk about how valuable that disabled customer is. I think until now people may have missed out on the opportunity there. And really, I'm here waving a flag with many others like me with our disability hats on in this disability arena, saying, do not ignore us as a customer. We're very valuable. We bring a spending power. And, and also, internally, within many of these brands and companies, there are people with disabilities within their own network. And so it's about giving voice to all of us and making sure we get that voice heard and listened to. Um, so I encourage retailers to come work with me and with any of the team that I work with to just ask questions that they might be a little bit nervous of asking around disability. There's a lot of fear and there's a lot of wanting to not get it wrong. And so just a, a, anything is welcome. Any questions, no matter how big, no how small, any goal, it really doesn't matter. For me, I think I'm opening a door to a retailer and to, a, to work with people in a way that's just really transparent and honest and just able to go to the heart of the matter and say, right, we want to get it right for disabled people. How do we do that? And we just start from there. So my next crazy ambition is I'm going to be going to the 2020 Paralympic Games to present them for Channel 4. And I've got this drive and love and passion for motorbiking and I have a trike and I'm going to be driving my trike from London to Tokyo next year. Uh, it's a crazy, crazy idea but I just feel I keep, I like setting the bar higher and higher. I also like the idea that right now there aren't that many adventurous women on TV. I don't know where we all are. We're not very well represented, let alone disabled adventurous women. So I'm kind of chucking it out there and just putting myself into that arena and getting out of that comfort zone once again. I feel very nervous, but I love sitting in that beautiful sweet spot between fear and between risk and between that kind of vulnerability space. So I love the idea of being really brave, but really vulnerable, really terrified, but really you know prepared. All of that, I love that mixture and that's where I like to be. And so I'm just doing it again. I'm just putting myself in that space and just going, right, what are we gonna do? Okay, well, I'm just gonna drive around the world. Here we go. So yeah, it's just like, that's the next big goal. So for for me, really now, I am just channeling just this energy to keep on creating the change that I want to see. And it really sits in two areas. It's, it's improving representation 
in fashion and in um, the media. So I kept my career and my life and my work at the moment is a lot of that is on television, which by default is therefore changing the ways in which disabled people are represented and that's really a drive for me. Also I get to travel and do amazing things and meet amazing people and it's a, it's a dream. But then also the other work that I'm doing, I'm still continuing just with a good team around me to help make sure I don't drop the ball when I'm traveling around the world. But yeah, it's, it's for me, it's about bringing everything together because I am, I love to do so many different things and I don't want to let go of any of them. So it's about finding the ways in which I can bring them all along together with me.